just for curiosity i bought one more uh, china tpa 3255 board and uh, this is integrated board with a power supply it has a uh, standard tpa 3255 chipset uh, parameters how they describe that uh, design but i bought it for one purpose i bought it for curiosity because this is really budget oriented board uh, when i checked the components i found a number of uh, obsolete com components uh, which are not produced anymore in power supply number of trade-offs uh, in design it was kind of casual design but at the very end it may have a decent quality the key difference is if someone will ask uh, could you make a product based on this uh, this design uh, definitely i will answer no uh, because um, there's some high responsibility when you have on board a power supply it should be designed uh, by the book also now the design should uh, have uh, electromagnetic certification definitely all those things are not there but uh, what drew my attention was the large inductors and uh, capability to work from 110 and 240 volts uh, let's assume if you can get out of this board about 200 uh, watts clean power, you can use as a toy to, to build some, some, some designs. But I would be cautious because the power supply requirements and quality of components are more important than uh, amplifier part. This is safety. Uh, there are plenty of safety things, safety designs uh, that should be kept. And uh, I would be cautious. So if you do something, be careful. Let's inspect a little bit board. Here it is. This board is comparable with Ice Power 200 Ace 2 by concept, where designers want to be, but definitely not by, by design quality or, uh, or uh, many other things. But I want to measure and uh, look uh, what we can get out. I worry a little bit about the size of uh, heatsink. This is why I want to measure power supply voltage. If it's 48 volts, uh, this heatsink should be pretty hot. I like inductors, those are right size for, for uh, a promised power. Uh, they also has on board the plus minus 12 volts, uh, what you can use for some preamplifier circuits. No, about some low lights, I don't like that this capacitor is so close to this heatsink. Uh, this is a uh, heatsink for uh, short key rectifiers uh, and uh, typically this is a hot part, especially for such power uh, what you can provide. Another thing, uh, designers had uh, difficulties uh, how to place uh, that connector and uh, normally it should be placed like from the side but they, they put it that you should somehow put it from the top and then bend it because there are uh, some components. All those small things are uh, for me are a sign that uh, it's really budget design and uh, uh, you can do trade-offs and you never never think about the final product of that. Uh, who knows how this board uh, occurs in, 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 in a market, but the price is unbeatable. Also, one more thing, for such power, there is not sufficient with one inductor. You need at least two inductors. Uh, the filter should have a higher uh, values. Uh, so this is also a trade-off, many trade-offs. But who knows, sometimes you can make some board and uh, as a toy it's very good. Uh, it took very long time until it was shipped and uh, you know that has a hard time to traveling even even who knows how it was handled that uh, this is kind of heavy heavy bump uh, to, to break a fiberglass yeah it is not damaging board and I will put put it back just to see that uh, this board travel or uh, has been handled uh, by not very good uh, shipping company. Let's measure. It could happen that this board will measure excellent. Yeah, who knows? Okay, here is our board set for, for measurements and we do standard uh, measurements. I will measure amplitude frequency characteristics. I will measure power supply capability. I will measure power supply uh, output voltage and uh, also I will measure uh, filter settings. Uh, is filter set for 8 ohms, for 6 ohms or for 4 ohms. For measurements I will use arbitrary generator signal and uh, watch output on uh, oscilloscope. System is ready for tests and let's switch it on. After some input delay, those are set to eliminate uh, pop-up noise. There is no pop-up noise at uh, switching on. Uh, good design. 
unfair thing to measure what is a maximum output uh, voltage what we can get without load okay there is a protection and somewhere how much clean power we can get okay 24.4 uh, volts uh, those are uh, about 144 watts per channel that's me on four ohms on a on on eight ohms it's about 72 watts so so maximum what we can get out of this uh, this board is uh, 72 clean watts those are clean nice uh, watts with a with a uh, low total harmonic distortion uh, one more thing to measure is uh, what is power supply voltage for this for this board and uh, we can measure it in a way that we measure output dc which is exactly half of the power supply uh, voltage and it's 22 volts that means um, power supply voltage is 44 volts 44 volts is a perfect balance uh, thermal balance when uh, power and heating size is uh, kind of uh, optimum and uh, it also shows in, in uh, all the tests that heating typically is not going above uh, 40 degrees celsius in open air that means in, in a closed box also be about uh, 50 55 which is a perfect perfect uh, working condition for this board uh, so this board is designed in a way that uh, engineers really thought about the uh, thermal design as well now we should measure one more thing about uh, power supply capability could this uh, power supply delivery at least on 8 ohms the maximum uh, uh, power with this onboard power supply and for that i will put a load on those uh, 24 output uh, volts yes yeah for 8 ohms it's perfect you can see some some noise uh, because this power supply is noisy but in uh, real uh, life uh, uh, working conditions normal operation uh, because majority of peaks will be partly handled by the storage capacitors and then this uh, power supply will not work at a, at a maximum current uh, continuously so those those noise will be in, in inaudible now, but one thing what we should take in account that uh, power supply is noisy how about 4 ohm condition i will switch on for a uh, 4 ohms that maximum output voltage non-clipped output voltage and yeah it's not a good thing uh, the power supply can't uh, can't hold it and let's uh, check what is uh, the real power what that uh, power supply is capable of i will reduce uh, output voltage somewhere here and now both channels 4 ohms and we have an output 19 volts yeah and it can handle that yes it can handle that excellent uh, now let's add some 20 and we, you you can see that uh, power supply protection kicking it on and it's become really noisy yeah so 19 volts output and roughly saying it's capable on 4 ohms about uh, 90 watts and on 8 ohms about uh, 72 watts uh, clean power it's by far not bad yeah not bad not bad but this is real power what this uh, board can handle now let's check uh, frequency characteristics uh, or how output filter has been uh, set i will put a sweep so reduce power to about uh, 10 watts output and let's check uh, let's check all output characteristics output filter and i will put a sweep 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz this is no load condition and let's check on uh, eight ohms and eight ohms slight drop i would say there's a small small drop uh, but uh, generally you will not hear it uh, it's less than than one decibel probably 0.5 decibels and uh, uh, this board is optimized for eight ohms and if you put a four ohm condition you can see then it's about uh, two two decibels down it's also not not bad and uh, and uh, real speakers uh, they don't have uh, four ohms on a 
high frequencies. Uh, they have four ohms on a low frequency. That's probably uh, you will get a pretty flat and neutral uh, response. But I like uh, designs with a six ohm optimized uh, boards when on eight ohms uh, you have some 1 dB gain and uh, on a 4 ohms uh, you are getting a 1 dB drop. And then, in, then the boards are kind of a bit brighter. But this board is optimized clearly for, for 8 ohms. You can see 8 ohms are, 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 are great yeah, and even if you put well, kind of pretty nice, pretty nice uh, uh, frequency characteristics. Now one more thing to be tested, it's uh, low frequencies and here we have one kilohertz, no, 6.9 volts, yeah, roughly saying. Uh, and let's check uh, how about uh, 100 hertz. And on 100 hertz, uh, excellent, 6.9, great outcome. And let's clean it to really have uh, precise values. And here on 100 hertz, we have practically the same. They may be minor, minor gain, but I would say it's, uh, it's uh, in frame of measurement uh, errors. Definitely you will not hear it. How about a 50 hertz? The same. Excellent. And how about a 30 hertz? No, almost the same. How about a 20 hertz? It's, it's almost, almost flat. Uh, performance. Well, actually, I would say it's, 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 it's flat and a low frequency. Uh, uh, there's no any issues. All capacitors are, uh, are okay for this board. I'm not wondering because this board is copy-paste from the reference design, at least amplified part is copy-paste from reference design. If you check a ramp on 100 Hz, excellent linearity. Excellent. Excellent all around. So, amplification part is, uh, is pretty okay. No complaints at all. And now, short summary after the measurements, uh, what I'm thinking, uh, subjectively thinking about this board. This is uh, 70 watts per channel board, 4 8 ohms and 4 ohms. Promise 300, no, it's 70 watts per channel. How does it sound? Sound quality is good. I listen it all around. For 4 ohms and for 8 ohms, for both. How to position in the market? This is very affordable. You can do plenty of tests buying this board. And uh, uh, for DI people, I recommend because with a minimum investment, you can really test out uh, the board uh, the capability and TPA 3255 uh, sound quality. What I don't like, power supply is noisy. This architecture is noisy. Power supply is 200 watt uh, capable, well protected. As a toy, you can, you can play around. Would I use it for products? No, I will not. Even it will be for free because you still have responsibility and warranties and other stuff. And also if you do some, uh, some tests, I'm recommending to, to wear uh, glasses just in case because you never know what kind of uh, components for the price. This price is, uh, you can get including shipping somewhere around 60 euros, I would say. Between 50 and 60. If I'm talking about uh, China boards, I better like uh, the concept when you're making this uh, power amplifier part separated from uh, power supply. For this board, amplifier is built uh, like a copy-paste uh, from reference design. So this is why it measures so, so good. Maybe output filters are a little bit oriented for, uh, for 8 ohms, uh, but otherwise it's, uh, it's a perfect. And here I took industrial power supply. This is 200. This is 450 peak power. Yeah. It is smaller and better. It's a good manufacturer. And in that case, uh, when I buy this power supply and then separate uh, amplifier part, uh, I can achieve a better result. And if I position to uh, TPA 3255 in, in, in a market, Mm, you should use 48 volts and uh, be capable to run those 250 watts. That means you need a larger heat sinks. If you can run it uh, at a maximum capability of uh, uh, TPA 3255 chip chipset, then you can dis differentiate you from a 100 watt uh, amplifier market. Otherwise, there's a huge uh, competition in 100 watt amplifier. So, regarding sound, sound is good. Clear, clean, no noise, uh, 
generally it sounds good and if you want to play around yes this board uh, can fit it uh, if you are to, if you ask uh, could I make a some I don't know product uh, design based based on this uh, board never no, because it's not certified and it probably will stay for uh, only a certain time in the market and there will be a new version, a new version, a new version you can sustain. And uh, also there is no marketing message. Because in 100 watt amplifier niche, only price, no. There's plenty of better designs. When you put a separate power supply, there are plenty of better designs. But if you want to play, yeah, this is a good board, it sounds good. Uh, and it's competing, uh, or uh, maybe those guys looked for uh, for the same niche as uh, Ice Power TPA3250 by board, but this board is built by book, and you can see there are two inductors and output filter, it's correct, there is a large input uh, uh, mains capacitor, uh, you can see that output filters are built uh, with uh, two inductors, and this is a clean, crisp, crystal clean and uh, neutral sound, uh, and can provide a double power on 4 ohms comparing to, to this board. Yeah, it's more expensive, but uh, I'm building my, my products based on, on the top quality boards. Uh, this is for hobbyists. As a product manager, I'm not able to position it, and only advantage is the price. 